Hi, this is Brad Basile, and uh, thanks for joining me here. And uh, what I was going to do over the next couple of minutes is give you an overview of how our, our um, voice over IP recording uh, design is here, uh, sort of how you actually, uh, uh, you know, an overview of how you set up um, a voice over IP integration. We call them integrations. Um, so what an integration really is, is a combination of voice over IP channels uh, that are assigned to a particular type of technology that we would be recording. Uh, that could be anything from uh, a uh, uh, voice over IP phones or a SIP trunk or uh, a radio system that has a voice over IP connection to it. An uh, example of that would be Moto Turbo um, or even uh, for that matter Motorola Astro or you know Harris uh, P25 systems. They all have voice over IP interfaces to them and uh, <clears throat> what we do here is we uh, you know we aggregate together a group of voice over IP channels and then we assign those to a particular integration and dedicate those channels uh, to that technology so um, all of this happens in the configuration manager so the demonstration that I'll give here will all be inside our configuration manager so I've reached the uh, uh, one dot next log here is the address of the demo system that I'm using. If I go into the configuration manager, uh, the first thing that I'd want to do if I'm going to be setting up a uh, voice over IP integration would be to make sure I have enough voice over IP channels. So the way I would do that would go into the system section, license keys, and then you can see this, this system has a lot of licenses on it, but if you go down one by one you'll find them and then here you can see num local voice over IP slash RTP channels. So what this is is a generic voice over IP channel that allows you to record um, you know RTP voice over in different formats through a particular connection that you would assign to those particular voice over IP channels. Okay, Some but not all of our uh, voice over IP integrations have separate licensings licensing among themselves. Okay, So for instance um, a, ter a Moto Turbo integration has a license where um, you know in addition to the voice over IP channels you need to have a uh, an integration license which is licensed separately and then you would see that license show up here as well okay um, so here we have the, the voice over IP channels I have 168 here okay uh, the next thing that we would do is then uh, decide where we want to assign some of those 168 channels. Keeping in mind you can mix and match those 168 channels or however many channels you have on your system across any number of different integrations. Okay, And the way that that happens is you go over to the recording section Okay, <clears throat> and you go into the boards section. Okay. Um, here you see this system has two boards. It has a physical analog board in it which is an actual hardware uh, channel board in the system and then it has a simulator board which because this is a demo system and has one board that is uh, just um, uh, 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 generating calls so that there's something to look at on the MediaWorks Plus side. Um, so in the voice over IP world what happens is there's no actual physical board per se that's added to the system what we're doing is we're adding some subset of the voice over IP channels that we have licensed for on the system into what's called a virtual board so that's why you see the add virtual recording interface here so if you hit the click add virtual recording interface here you can assign the number of channels that you're going to be using okay I'll just choose eight and then here under the local IP section uh, I would then choose the particular integration type. So you can see the long list here. Okay, And you'd pick any one of these. So I'll just ch pick for argument's sake um, the uh, 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 rather simple one here which is a um, uh, generic uh, generic SIP phones. Okay, Here it brings you a template. Let's just cancel this. If I were to just choose a different one per se. Okay, Eight let's just pick a different one uh, uh, just for argument's sake um, what would be a good one here let's say Moto Turbo um, recording interface so it has a different template here with different information um, one of the more complicated uh, uh, templates here are um, uh, we have integration guides available which will go through and describe each one of these particular entries in here most of this information uh, will be derived from the system that you're going to be recording so in this particular case it's a Moto Turbo system you see a whole list of different items here 
Okay, um, I'll cancel that one. And when you finally f come to a template, you know, the template that you want to use, so let's just go like this, and we'll take, uh, let's just say, a multicast RTP one. This is a simple one. I only chose one channel. Here you're selecting the uh, Ethernet interface over which uh, the recorder is going to be using to get this. Okay, you would put in a multicast address here, 345, okay, and a transmit port and a receive port, and you would save the board. And then at that point, see, now it created an additional board here. It's only one channel in size, but there's the board that I've added. And then if you were to have multicast RTP coming into the system, it would get recorded here. Okay, works the same for all the different integrations, uh, the same philosophy, the same concept. You allocate the channels, you uh, enter the information into the template, you save it, and then you start sending some test calls in, and uh, that's it.